Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. We're teaching you smart ways to manage your money and here with expert advice is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Of course. So today we're talking about aging parents. We all age eventually. Are, do you hear from your clients that they are concerned about this, overwhelmed by this? Yep, to both. Uh, depending upon the age demographic, like the people that are 90 now, maybe Great Depression era mindset, they don't really want to talk about this stuff with their kids. No one wants to talk about this stuff, let's be honest, but they are very guarded on this stuff. And a lot of times they want to do it all on their own. They want to live on their own. We all want our independence. Um, it's hard. It's really hard for people. And it's a really, they want to be there for their family, but you also have to think about being there for your family as well. It's, it's a hard thing that a lot of people are going to go through. Right, hard for the parent and the child, I would imagine. So you gave us some uh, some points here yeah. to make it easier. Let's start with this first one. Understanding the long-term impact of caring for an aged loved one. I've, you know, the folks that we work with are either retired or about to. You know, people that are 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, and I've seen a lot of stuff. And, you know, you think about a couple that have been together forever. And someone gets sick. And let's say, stereotypically, it's him and she's gonna take care of him because she loves him and that's what she wants to do, but she's not really equipped to do that. And she's also not young and she's also not in great health. And then her health deteriorates. Um, so I, I understand that, that you wanna help out your family. And even though you know, your head and your heart might wanna do that, it might be killing you. So what do you do? Because there's people out there that will help in this instance and there's you know, senior advocates that can give guidance on what should you be doing. Right. I think that leads us to the next point you gave us is having options to keep working and saving is important. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the generation that's retiring right now, average 65 year old, they talk, uh, you know, sometimes you hear the phrase sandwich generation. I guess if you're into financial planning like I am, you hear sandwich generation because you're talking about people who are potentially going to care for aging parents and not fully independent children. I did the air quotes. So that costs a lot of money. So that could divert, well, you did a great job and you had a good plan, but now you're kind of paying for way more than just the two of you. So you might have to work longer because you gotta be able to take care of yourself in the future as well. So maybe that factors into working longer so you can save more. Right, and it's a big responsibility. So yeah. you say it's important to have constructive conversations, I'm sure, with your spouse, with your children. It is important, and this is a broader scope, whether you're talking about people aging or talking about you getting sick or talking about you dying. Some of these conversations that are not fun, just because you're not having them doesn't mean those decisions aren't being made. Like if you die without a will in Connecticut, dying in test state, you give up the right to determine what's going to happen with that stuff. I know it's not fun. It's still important. You know, and these conversations should be had when people have options because if you wait until it is too late, you won't have options and you're going to be trying to fix a sinking ship that's got a giant hole in the bottom of it. Right. So talk about this stuff when you can make choices. And I think part of choices and having options is accepting help when you realize you need it and you say, yeah. here, don't take on too much responsibility alone. Yeah. I, I mean, Ask for help, and there's people that want to help. And it's, you know, I, I love our state. There's a lot of organizations that can help people with this stuff. And this is something that a lot of people are going to encounter. Um, just with aging parents, it's wonderful with advances in medicine that people are living so much longer. But, you know, what's the best way to help those people, the people that you care most about? So have those conversations and ask for help. And now this last one here, I think people in this situation maybe don't think about at all, but it's important, is finding you time. It's balanced so that, so you can have a great life and so it can be what you want it to be. And it's amazing. I mean, my wife and I are going through some of that with our family now, is you want to help family, but then you also have your family and you also have maybe your kids' families and all these things. And there's, you know, there's, I know you want to try and do everything, but no one can do everything. Right. It's like that saying, you have to make sure your own cup is full before you can fill the cup of others. It's so important. That was a better example. <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> and I know you have an offer for our viewers today to learn more about this whole process, taking care of an aging parent um, and themselves. So tell us about that. It talks specifically about that. Like, well, like what things should you be thinking about? Because that's the biggest thing that people come, well, they don't really want to talk about it. Not the people I'm talking to, but okay, my parents don't want to talk about it. And I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to because it just seems very stressful to anyone that I ask about it, because it is stressful and it is really important. So it, um, it's an article that talks specifically about that. You can get it at moneywisdomtv.com and I would read it because 
your parents are not going to come to you wanting to talk about this stuff, but it will most likely be you tasked with taking care of it. Right. So the more you can know about it, the better. All right, getting the conversation started, so important. Eric Hogarth from Johnson Brunetti, thank you. That website, one more time, is moneywisdomtv.com. I'm Natasha Lubchenko, and we'll catch you right back here next week.